As I sit here with my thought, riding this train, brings on a smile when I think of 123 Maple Leaf Lane. The house itself wasn't any different than the rest. It sat at a bend of a road, just beyond a crest. For years it sat empty, lonely, and cold. My life changed forever that day. It was sold. A family of three suddenly moved in. My parents greeted them with open arms in hopes of becoming friends. Uninterested I was that they had a little girl. Playing rough games of football was all that mattered in my world. My parents gave a dinner party and invited them over. My only concern was admiring my collection of four-leaf clothes. But Mama came to my room and ordered me to attend, told me to take a bath and change clothes to greet their new friends. Old family had a single child by the age of nine. These stupid dinner party were a waste of my time. Past experience taught me to be at my best. Don't care to see mama when she getting something off her chest. I bought my collection of four leaf clover hoping to share when I found out that they had a little girl I knew she wouldn't even care to my surprise from her pocket she pulled out clovers of her own told me that they surrounds her home while our parents chatted we went outside to play not sure to offer to climb a tree being a girl I thought she would be afraid. The moment we stepped outside, she had it for a weeping willow tree. I had no problem climbing it, something I never expected to see. Sitting on a branch, we started to talk. She said not to blame her for being a girl. It's not her fault. At that moment, a strange feeling came upon me from the inside. My discomfort was hard for me to hide. Seeing my discomfort, she slid over and planted a kiss, whispered in my ear, see what you could have missed. From that day forth, we became one. Never a day go by that we didn't have fun. We stayed together from grade to high school. Having her in my life was so cool. But my parents wanted me to attend college out of state. Not being able to see her each day was what I hated. On the last day before I had to leave, we said our teary goodbye. To say I wasn't hurting would be telling a lie. We kept in touch through daily letters until she suddenly stopped receiving a message to call home while sitting at a coffee shop. Not saying much, they told me to take the first train, instructed me to meet them at 123 Maple Leaf Lane. Because the sky was gray, the day seemed to be dark. Seeing all their faces as I approached gave me a sinking feeling in my heart.
Everyone was present except for her. For a long moment, no one spoke a word. Mama put her arms around me and whispered, she gone away. Went to be amongst the angel just the other day. When that news finally sunk in, I started to cry. The day she left was also the day a part of me died. My Lord, why do you punish me by taking away her voice? That day, sitting in that tree, you told me I made the perfect choice. Together she and I made the perfect team. Now, the only way I could see her is through my dream. At the funeral, she came to me through my mind. She said not to mourn for her because she'd be waiting for me when it's my time. and hold on to those precious moments that we once had. If I could do that, then I wouldn't go through life all so sad. Immediately afterward, I caught the first train, going back half of who I am and leaving the better half at 123 Maple Leaf Lane.